also checking back with our own Jim Barry in Boston. Yeah, he joins us live from TD Garden. And Jim, you've got a very special guest with you right now. I certainly do. Starting point guard Gabe Vincent joining us. And Gabe, uh, this team loves to do things the hard way, and you did it in convincing fashion. And I take me through this game and how it seemed you guys were just in sync from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, we knew it would be a battle. We knew it would be a competitive game. We just had to come out and set the tone. You know, we didn't want to let up. We had to play 48 minutes of good basketball, and we were able to put that together tonight. You certainly uh, did, and it seemed like everybody knew where everybody was on the floor tonight, and there was uh, the offense was very fluid. Yeah, I mean, when coach to, coaches put together a great game plan, we followed, we put the ball in our stars' hands, and, and they made plays. But you guys have to get it done, and tell me about the temperament of this team. There were many times tonight, I counted three guys on the floor for the Miami Heat who were undrafted. You, of course, had that long journey up through the G League and had to prove yourself. Uh, tell me how that's kind of the glue that holds this team together. Yeah, I mean, we just were a group that fights, you know, we believe in one another. It doesn't matter where you come from or, or the route that got you here, you're here as far as we're concerned. You're an NBA player, and, and we're going to do what we can to compete and fight for one another. Jimmy Butler always had confidence even when you guys lost three games in a row. How did you keep that? Yeah, I mean, Jimmy had confidence, and we all had confidence. You know, we, we all knew what we could do. We knew what we were capable of. We kept our faith. We never wavered. Now you're going to Denver in the NBA Finals. How's it feel, baby? Feels great, man. It feels great to be back. We got a, a big test ahead of us, and we're looking forward to it. I bet that ankle doesn't hurt now, does it? <laughs> it's doing all right. I bet it is. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate all right. You. Well done. Well done. Gabe Vincent, um, starting guard for the Miami Heat, and you heard his story. Uh, like so many guys on this team, these guys just will their way into the league, will their way into the lineup, and now they have will their way to a chance to play for an NBA championship. The seventh time in franchise history, the Heat will get that opportunity, and that's the most of any franchise in the league since 2006, guys. Back to you. I like the way he says, oh, we give the, the ball to our stars, meaning Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. But you know what? He was a star. Yeah. He's been a star in this series. Uh, uh, Caleb Martin, a star in this series. Duncan Robinson, right, Jim? Absolutely, man. This is, uh, quite honestly, a, a total team effort, and they believe in each other. Not a lot of egos on this team, and that makes a big difference. Uh, quite honestly, I've covered a lot of teams, and you know the egos can get in the way of the chemistry. That is not the case with this Miami Heat team, and I think maybe it's because of what he said. Everybody has had to come up the hard way. Even Jimmy Butler, uh, mm -hmm. the star of this team, has had to prove that he really is a bona fide star on the level of some of the biggest names in the game. And so I think that when you have that kind of chip on your shoulder, Older, you're eager to prove it, and you know everybody else has that same chip. It makes it easy for everybody to come together and believe in one another. I think you saw some of that modesty when Jimmy Butler accepted the MVP for the Eastern Conference Finals. He wasn't, you know, showboating, big smile, gloating, or anything like that. He was kind of <laughs> subdued about it. And I think he knows that it was truly a team effort out there. Great to see, Jim. We'll be checking back in with you. Heat fans, watch from the Kaseya Center here in downtown Miami. A major game win. Yeah, here's the moment they realize the Heat are going to the finals. They don't even need to actually be seeing the players in front of them. They could just be watching it on the screen. The funny thing is they're watching on a screen and then watching through their phones at the same time. But what a special moment to be surrounded by Heat fans when you know the team has just won game seven and it's so headed many to the people finals. said they couldn't do it they weren't uh, that good they're not that talented like Jim said so many undrafted players mm -hmm. unsung heroes and here they are going to the NBA finals CBS News at 11 comes right back